That meat is good meat. We're live, Mama. Oh, Hello, folks. How are you? Welcome to Coffee Time with John and Mama. I'm John, and this is Mama. If you're not following us on Facebook, head on over to our page, Coffee Time with John and Mama, and you'll find us right there. Let's talk. Let's talk about supper. Tonight is one of my favorite things. I don't do it every time, but when Mama's made homemade pimento cheese, uh, you can't beat it. I'm trying to straighten y'all up. You know, a little crooked. <laughs> That's all right. It's They're thirsty. Crooked. It's thirsty. You can be just a little crooked. And I'm going to show you where we're at. So this is just two. This meat was so lean and so good. Um, I made the patties and I sprinkled this right here on it. And salt and pepper on both sides. And I put them in here. And right over there is our buns. They're on low. Buttered and just sitting there in the pan. Going to toast up real nice. I like a good toasted bun. Especially when I'm having to in a cheese. These have been on about three minutes. Look at that beautiful char. What do you think about that, Mama? That looks good on that side. Let them cook right there. Hope that noise ain't too loud. Mama, why don't you tell them what you've been up to? Mama's been busy. Somebody say Mama looks tired tonight because she yes, is. I am. <laughs> Mama has been going. It's been like the Waltons here today. Um, she got up this morning. This had a little bad spot on it. I think we got a hold of some hothouse tomatoes. I do believe. Is this clicking? It's a, got a thermostat in it. Okay. Click. I thought I heard something clicking. It's on real low, so it'll kick in, kick in. I just want that oh. bread lightly toasted. You might have to get it hot first before you put it on low. Right. These burgers will fry up there, I believe. I believe we had a problem with them. Um, where was we at? What was we talking about? Me. Uh, what I done? Oh, Mama got this morning. She had breakfast because um, I told her it's like the Waltons. <laughs> She's got a big. I wish y'all could see right over here on the side of the camera. There is a big old, and I'll show y'all in a minute if I don't forget. Big old bowl of apples. Mama has um, overextended her appleage. Uh, she, she said, "I didn't realize there's so many." I said, "Mama, that's a lot of apples." So Mama's working apples about all day, ain't you, Mama? Yeah, I have all day. Um, but she fixed breakfast this morning. I was surprised. Bacon and everything. Uh, bacon and eggs and biscuits. And but, the, but here's the thing. She made all that good stuff because she wanted to show off her apple butter. <laughs> and I was so glad. I was so glad she wanted to show it off. Right here, I'm going to show it off for her. This is one of the pots. Look at that beautiful, beautiful apple butter. This is traditional. As you can see, it's got that rich brown. That's where you let it cook those six hours. Um, it cooked longer than six hours. One of the she made this one ten. overnight. Okay. Mama, how many batches have you made of this? I've just, uh, there's two of that kind. I'm going to have to sit that on the stove. Too. Let's just give it another minute. Go ahead and tell them about you. There's two of that one. And only one of that one. Oh, we're going to make another one of these. I'm going to show them my apples. I've got Look at this one, folks. This one is the Red Hots. Um, you don't put the cinnamon in it. You use the cinnamon Red Hots. This one's easier to make. Oh, yeah. Uh, and we did put a drop or two of food coloring because if you're making a big old batch, you can't get enough Red Hots. It turns pink. So we just used a drop or two of food coloring. Not enough to hurt you or to you know, even hurt a hummingbird or nothing. But, uh, what are you doing, Mama? I'm going to show them. Oh, my goodness. The apples. Are... This reason she's tired. She's lugged around kettles of apples. This is, I'm cooking these down, and I'm going to make another batch of uh, the cinnamon red hots. Because this, it takes seven cups of cooked apples after you cook them down, get them done, and we'll put the emergence... Uh, I said emergency. <laughs> the emergency alarm on? What, Mom? Emergency what? Emergency. Uh, emergency, she said. <laughs> emergency. No. She's trying to say immersion blender. I am uh, we, <laughs> It makes it good and smooth, like butter should be. Uh, in here. And then I put a half a cup of, uh, not in here, but in my other kettle like this, I'll put a Half a cup of vinegar, yeah, half a cup of white vinegar, oh. and uh, 
little over a cup of red hearts is what I've got in that one. And seven cups of apples, but I put my vinegar and my red hearts in a kettle and kind of get them hot and started, started melting. And then I put uh, three cups of sugar and uh, then I start putting my apples and it calls for seven cups of apples. And that made, what did I say, five and a half pints, right? I five and a half it. pints, so like this right here. Yeah. But look how pretty that is. So this is what I'll do in the morning. I'm going to let these cook on down more. And then in the morning, I'm going to start making my batches of it. But I've got to go get more sugar before I can mm. do that. So you may carry that over there a moment. Let me get Independent as a hog on ice. Now there's another one of them sayings that we was talking about the other night. Mama is as independent as a hog on ice. You cannot help Mama. She won't allow it. Will you, Mama? No. I think we... All right, folks. We're doing these turn, burgers. Turn this up a little bit because they're not doing nothing. You want to put that on the stove? Cause yeah, because it's, it's stopped even cooking. Yeah, it's... Um, I'll just turn this one all the way off. All right. So what I'm doing, folks, is... Cutting up just the veggies we're going to use on our hamburgers. I'm going to show you the pimento cheese in just a second. Um, so let me turn you around here. The screen looks dark again tonight, but you had done that before and it popped back on and all that good stuff. I'm going to show you right here is that candied onion that I bought at the farmer's market. So it's not a Vidalia. It's called candied. And I've not tasted of it. And this is how, it, how I got it. It was skin off like that. So, I guess Take it's... Take that outer layer off. I don't want to eat it if it's been exposed. We won't, Mama. I want to take him off. Take him off right now. Look here. No, oh, it's pretty under there. I have never... It smells... That's mine. It's thick. It smells... Thin, thin, thin. It's mean. It smells very good. It smells kind of like a Vidalia, but there's nothing like a Vidalia 100%. Oh, no. Then it's a knife blade, Mama. Look at that. Hey, you're doing good. Mama won't eat a slice. She'll eat a ring. So that's really all we needed that. I'm going to put him right over there. We'll put him in a bag mm -hmm. and have him. I'm just going to leave this on here. This is just spinach. I'm not using iceberg. Just using spinach. Mama, you want spinach? Mm -mm. No. Okay. Too late for that nonsense, ain't it, Mom? Yeah, I reckon so. All right. So there is our little hamburger fixings. I normally eat cheeseburgers. Mama will eat hamburger only with mustard. She don't eat anything else like that business. Put them over there. Let them. You turned it off, I thought. I did, but it's hotter than that one still. Let them brown, and then that meat will be ready to put the pimento cheese. Here's what's left of Mama's wonderful homemade pimento cheese. And I'm just going to put it on that burger, just like you would a slice of cheese. Me. <laughs> I, mean, I want them buns to brown a little bit. Come on, buns. Get with the program now. Them brown, them sounds hot. They sound hot. <laughs> Y'all hear them? Yeah, they do sound hot. They sound hot, Mama. That's what I feel in July. Feels like it's hot. You sound hot in July. Folks, we've had the most wonderful weather. It's been just a touch of autumn. It's been 82 is as high as we've had today that I have seen. Um, we've had 70s. We never get that in August. But our whole weather pattern this year has been different. It's been, we had a really hot June and July. Um, we had a dry May. Uh, oh, I guess the Sprite or something, but no more caffeine. I've really hit the coffee today. It's been like a second Monday today. Y'all ever have those where you're like, huh, it's been a long Monday. It ain't even Monday. Well, I don't know if we're ever going to get any toasted buns. Okay, 
Maybe he'll heat up here in a minute and we'll get some toasted buns. We're ready to bring that bring that uh, burger speck over and we will put our pimento cheese on there. And that's it, folks. Tonight's supper really is super simple, no problem. And we're just going to have some potato chips. That's all we're going to do. Just a few of those because I don't really like a lot of potato chips. Well, thank you, Mommy. You got me a regular Sprite. Yeah, I'm good let me have those and I'll switch out. Alright, because they ain't doing much over here. I don't know. I got that on. Come on, little hot plate. Those are good, I can tell. Because they only need like four minutes on each side. There you go. Okay, I'm going to turn these over on the hot side. Like that right there. That's good. Now I'm gonna take this pimento cheese. Now it's gonna it'll melt right on there. Because you want to flip it on the hot side. And you just put it on there like you would um, a slice of cheese. Just lay it on there and let it melt. And it'll melt right on there. Maybe I am not that too much, Mama. You want half of it? No, thank you. Alright. We're through with that. I'm just gonna let that get warm there and melt. And that's gonna be lunch. That's gonna be supper right there. I had a salad for lunch. So it does feel like this is gonna be lunch. Let's see what y'all are saying. Hey John and Mama, hey there, um, Mariah. How are you? Hey Nola. Mama, that's Mama's homemade pimento cheese. Was somebody asking that? The recipe is on there. On one of our pimento, she's made pimento cheese several times. Hi, John and Mama. Hey, Sue, how are you? My screen looks darker tonight, and I'm not sure. Oh, look at that. Now, there it is, Brown. Look at that. I'm not sure why the screen is staying looking dark. It does that sometimes, flips on its own. Good evening. Hello. Hey, TJ, how are you? Hey, James. Hey, Cindy. What are y'all eating tonight? How's Maggie tonight? Maggie's the queen of everything. I don't know what she did last night. I don't know. She must have had a guilty conscience because she didn't sleep very well last night. But now, don't feel sorry for her because she sleeps 22 hours a day. She don't eat like normal Dogs. She eats about every other day. She eats a lot. You know, quite a bit. And then she'll go. Now that I, I put out fresh last night. And she has a bowl. She keeps a bowl all the time full. But I put more in there fresh last night. And she has eaten some, Mama. Yeah. She's eaten. She's eating off both sides. She eats off a little bit on this side and she goes to the other side and eats a little bit. She has eaten since I put that in there. We keep filtered water in there for all the time. And I even put in the summertime, I put ice cubes in there so it'll be good and fresh. She don't like it overly cool, but she likes a little fresh cold water. And uh, But anyway, last night she got up about 3 o'clock. And you know, y'all can hear her coming through on the hardwood floors. And she just walked the floors for a little while. And um, if she wants to go out, she gets up and walks and she barks. You, you know when she's wanting. She didn't want out. She just wanted to walk. And I think she maybe she hears stuff outside. Maybe night critters. Or maybe noises at night or something. She's just, she don't bark. She don't disturb. She just walks the house. Um, I knew that. She might have caught that. Mama says she probably got it from her because she does that. Do you do that, Mama? You know, I'll walk back and forth through the house. Oh, you're a pacer now. Yeah, I'm a pacer. Oh, look at that. Look how that it cheese is, is melting. It you is. see it dripping? Dripping off the burger. It's hot all the way through, and that's what you want. That beautiful, warm pimento cheese. How it's dripping down the sides. Mmm, that's going to be good, y'all. If you, if you never had a pimento cheeseburger, try this version. As soon as I can get some fresh um, 
blue cheese crumbles. We don't have them here in our store. You have to go elsewhere. But mama, there's your burger. I'm going to set this over here so it okay. won't come with our face. Okay. Um, I love what they call a black and blue burger. And that's where you make your meat really thin, get it good and sharp. Went too far, didn't I? You wrecked, of course. Get it to get it really good and charred, and you put your blue cheese on it and let it melt, and then it's a blackened cheeseburger. Used to be a restaurant here that had those called Black and Blue Cheeseburger, and they were so good, so good. I don't like this screen being dark. I don't know if there's not enough light in here. Do y'all know? But it's all on. It's all on. So I don't know what's going on, but it's just it's not dark. It's just dimmed. Y'all ever have your coupons do that? Sausage. Somebody's having sausage. Patricia, you having sausage and prego? I don't couldn't read that. Hi, good evening, John and Mama. Hey, hey, Eva. Hey, Kim. Uh, we didn't get on last night. We would stay late at church, and um, we uh, come home, and Mama was up to her eyeballs and uh, apples. And I so had to put up what I had cooked and stuff. I didn't have she started that. finishing up on apples, and I started helping her a little bit. And you don't want none of this, do you? Mm -mm, I don't want a tomato. So. Uh -huh. I'll give you that middle piece, Mama. No, oh, you're so sweet. It covers your whole thing there. How many rings would you like, ma'am? Just a few of them, so I can. How about these little ones right here? Yeah, that's good, right there. That and that. Mm -hmm. salt. Here's the salt. I know you like a book, Mama. Oh, you're good. I'm going to take a couple of your rings. And then I'm going to get me a thick ring. How's that sound? Sounds good. Ooh, that covered it. Mm. I'm going to taste it, just onion only. Am I, am I putting myself up for a mess? Well, it's not smelling strong. No, it don't. It's called candied onion. It ain't strong at all. Not at all, Mama. I'm going to open these over here away from the microphone. Oh, it didn't make any sound at all. If you got a knife. Um, yeah, there's all kinds of knives. You my with. Oh, well, you want more? Uh -uh. I don't want many chips either. And I met. Yes, ma'am. Ah, that's that. Okay, a napkin. I know something else you're wanting. Mama, I know what you want even when you don't know what you want. What do I want? Oh, yeah, I want some pickles. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I want my burger cut so I can handle Here's it. your pickles. These are bread and butter pickles. We like bread and butter pickles. Now, let me tell you a little story about these bread and butter pickles. <laughs> these are our local Save-A-Lot pickles. Mama did not make these. And I don't know if you will make them anymore, will you, Mama? Nope. That was a quick answer. <laughs> these are the Save a Lot brand. Now, I'm, we're not sponsored by Save a Lot or Kurtz, but these are bread and butter by Save a Lot. And Mama has decided that these are every bit as good as hers. Now, she decided that, not me. I think hers is better. She says absolutely not. And if there is a difference, it ain't worth the effort. It ain't worth the effort. She said there's not enough difference. What's this, Mama? One Ooh. Hi. <laughs> I'm getting back away from you. <laughs> Did you think I was? No, I know you wouldn't. Because why? I don't like the meat or the bun smashed. I smashed that and I flipped it with my hand. I know. Mm, there you are. Well, Mama, that. There you go. Thank you, thank you. I appreciate it. I don't that. like my bun smashed. Now, y'all know all things that have a tomato get JFG. That's my. I think JFG. Um, I love Dukes. I love mayonnaise. But I like JFG if there's a tomato involved. <laughs> now my pimento cheese is melted and come right down the side there. It's even running down on it. It is, but that'd be a good chip dip. A chip dip. Good chip dip. <laughs> you ready, Mama? Mm hmm. 
Let's bless our food. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you so much for this meal. We thank you for the nourishment of our bodies. We thank you for all the blessings. Dear Lord, we thank you for everything you do and everything you're going to do, dear Lord. And we just pray for your direction and your tell us what to do, Lord, and when to do it. And dear Lord, we just pray that you'll keep a hedge protection about us and all of our friends. Remember all the prayer requests and be with all the hurting and the folks in the world. In your name we pray. Amen. Amen. Okay, Mama, you go ahead and eat up. I'm going to cut mine. Oh, you know. doors is a... Well, a I got onion. Double decker looks like. I got all that onion. Mm -hmm. that, I don't think the pimento cheese is bringing it that much. Because no, because it, it's rolling down. Yeah, it's melting. Thing. We got the fancy china out tonight, so it's harder to cut. But you know what Mama says about cutting her plates? <laughs> Scratching them. Don't cut metal on plates, right, Mama? I'm going to start out with a chip. I don't like hamburgers, too. It's a little thick. I had to open my mouth. Big and wide. <laughs> Thicker than you like, Mama. That's good. All right, folks. I'm taking a chance here. But we all family. <laughs> just remember that. It's going to come out a little bit. It's everywhere. That pimento cheese has just melded perfectly. I'm going to show you on the tip of this knife right here. Look at this. Look at that beautiful deliciousness. There's no way to do this without having a little drippage. You can't really see a lot of it, but there it is. Look at that pimento cheese. The outside's Oof. got it all over it. It's out here. Look here. It's delicious, y'all. If you like hamburgers, you like pimento cheese, there's no reason you wouldn't like this burger. Mm. I like them both, but I won't put them together. <laughs> it's delicious. Absolutely delicious. Got that bread and butter pickle on there. Got that pimento cheese. And like I said, it makes a good chip dip. Wonderful. How many of y'all ever had pimento cheese on a hamburger? I'm having banana pudding. Oh, mm. JB, that sounds good. <laughs> it looks like a dagwood. Benny Mama says that. She'll say, that's a dagwood. Oh, that sounds delicious. Becky, it is. Or Cynthia, was you talking to Becky? Somebody was, I don't know. I just jumped in the middle of that. Could you tell? Hamburger looks delicious. Well, thank you. Thank you, Teresa. I don't freeze y'all. I probably did. Perfect burger, John. Well, thank you. Every time I touch y'all, Patricia, I just get one of you at a time tonight. I don't know what's. Hey, Rebecca. Um, you froze. No, right now. Let's move them. Burger Days used on Saturday noon. Andrew, we used to have that too. We used to have a little place we ran up and got burgers here. Um, uh, carry out. It was a little store that had burgers. Uh, what's the name of those pickles? Marsha, they're, they're the Save Up brand, I guess. Bread but they're, and butter. Bread and butter. They're Kurtz Bread and Butter Chips. Kurtz Bread and Butter Chips. Now, Mama made but, um, bread and butter pickles. For years and these do taste a whole lot like mama's uh, you know some of them are real uh, vinegary or but these are delicious aren't the mama yeah, you don't I you don't do nothing to them do you no I've not done nothing to these they're mm -mm. good they're delicious um, don't have to do a thing to them you can get different brands and they may not be as good as mama's but this particular brand is their uh, sweet pickle relish is good too yeah mama's picky about that too but we do like it we like it over some of the <coughs> I like it you alright mama? yeah pickle juice went the wrong way pickle juice went the wrong way yeah mm -hmm. She's eating now after I said that. But you heard us, but there was no clanging of plates. Mm -mm. I haven't had a pop 
Probably since the last time we had hamburgers. That one tastes strong. <laughs> Boy, this coffee's good, though. Sip a pop, a sip of coffee. I do. I'm a devil sipper. The other morning, <laughs> what morning was it? Anyhow, I had coarse coffee. And uh, Mama was going to drink hot tea. And uh, she poured her some cold tea. And I said, I'll take a glass of that. And she said, you ain't going to drink coffee with breakfast? I said, yeah, coffee so and iced tea. You can't beat that combo. I am a, I don't know, like I'm, if I, when I head out to work, I've usually got a, which I've always got coffee, I've got a thermos of coffee in my hand, and I've got a, a, one of the tumblers of, of ice water, because I may want some ice water, and then sometimes I might have um, a sweet tea. Mom said, you thirsty? I said, I might be before the day's over. Do you all do that? I always want water, and I always want coffee. And the other thing is optional. Could be orange juice, grape orange juice, juice, grape tea. juice, tea. <laughs> Anything. You turn the burner off. I, is that a light or a reflection? Just unplug it right here. I couldn't tell if it was a light on it. No, it was a reflection. It. It went darker. Oh uh, well, it was it was on there. Some, uh, but it looks like there's lights on every one of them. This now. one right here is on. It's off now, Mom, because it's unplugged. Yeah. So what else y'all eating tonight? Hello, John and Mama. Hello, Pauletta. How are you? Hey, Linda. Good afternoon, John and Mom. Well, good afternoon there. We put them in the air fryer. Hamburgers. We've never done a hamburger in the air fryer here, Mom. Mm -mm. No. That would be good. We're learning to use the air fryer more. Uh, something Mama tried the other day and we thought it was good. I've got some other recipes that say air fryer. And I thought, you know, I may try the air fryer with that one. Are you up for it, Mama? An air fryer experiment? Yeah, I can try it. Tell us what you, uh, what you, all you, what do you do differently to the cinnamon? The red cinnamon. You don't put the cinnamon. You just use the red hots. Uh. Yeah, but the recipe that I'm using calls for five cups of sugar. Uh-uh. And that's just for way too much. I only use three cups of sugar. And My. the sh candy. The and candy is so good. Yeah. We okay. use the candy for sliced apples at Easter, Christmas, Thanksgiving. And it tastes similar to that, doesn't yeah. it, Mama? Mm -hmm. And we other, might have enough to do us through the winter. I've got uh, five and a half of the red so far and nine and a half of the other. Well, one we're eating on over our height. So, and then I've got that kettle full to, to make. work up. And then I've got that big bowl. Big nugget. bowl and a colander. You got a lot of apples, Mom. Yeah, to go through to peel. This will make two or three batches, you, or two batches. I know this big kettle of cooked apple. I can help you peel that bowl full. Well, I'm not going to start on it. I've got to go get sugar in the morning. Don't touch them. <laughs> I'm not going to. They may have to wait a day or two, my hand. They will. can because they're just. Mama goes at 100 miles an hour on everything. You all know how she is. And I took come today and I said, Mama, she said, I'm just wore out. I've been these apples all day. And I said, why didn't you clock out? Why didn't you ask for a break? Well, you know how I am. I said, that's exactly right. Never stops, just keeps going, keeps going. I thought I could finish them, but 
the old body said, oh, that's enough today. <laughs> you want you want me to take you for a ride? No. Let you turn on the the seats and Oh, the heated seat. That does sound tempting. <laughs> Mama likes the heated seats in July as much as she does in February. Uh, it don't matter when it is. She wants her seat on. I could use one of those muscle pads or whatever. You got, yeah. Um, you got plenty of muscle heat warmers. Pad. I'm going to try one of them tonight on my Miss Annetta. We found out Miss Annetta sent those for us. Thank you, Miss Annetta, again. Um, sent them for Mama. She still wanted to have more than one, so you have one in each room, she said. They feel good on you without the heat. <laughs> <laughs> well, they would. And it heats your muscles. Mmm. Hamburger and coffee. It tastes so good. Coffee and everything tastes good, though. Hey, Barbara, how are you? Barbara Hodges is the only child. Donna, is that what she said? I don't know. Sometimes I get in on your old conversations. Uh, Mama, don't do that too much, getting yourself overworked. Preach to her there, <laughs> Katie. She is like the Energizer Bunny. She really is. Mama, there's your friends. Mm -hmm. uh, watching from Georgia. Probably my father. Hi, Juanita. How are you doing? Oh no, Jane! You have COVID. Uh -huh. Do you know which one you have, or what the symptoms are, or anything? Uh -huh. They're different. Um, they're different Hello. varieties and different kinds. Now I'm hamburger hungry. <laughs> Evelyn, it's a quickie and easy meal if you got a hamburger meat. If you don't have buns, just use black bread. That's what we used to do. Growing up, we had black bread more than... The heat is great, Martha. Martha says she's like you. The heat is great. I know. It makes your bones, body feel good. Hello from Quebec, Tennessee. Well, hello, Jim Guy. How are you? Hi, you Scott. Hi, John and Mama. Folks, it's a quiet Thursday. Um, it's down to 81. Be a good evening to go out and sit on the porch. And we'll let take Maggie out. If she would go out at night or evenings and run and get some energy out from her. But she don't. She just goes out there and lays. And looks and watches. So now if something, if the UPS truck went by. Or the FedEx truck should do some running. But uh, she needs, I don't know. Maybe she just had a night. I don't know what she hears. You know, I used to have a German Shepherd in the house. <laughs> and uh, my house is against the woods. There's woods behind my house. And she'd be laying there on the floor at night. And she would jump straight up and look in that direction and I knew she was hearing something I think what are you hearing girl I got used to it because I knew she was always hearing stuff but sometimes she would just jump straight up and run to a window or run to the door and look to see what she could see I knew there was something a deer a coyote well the deers have crossings mm -hmm. a fox a turkeys we have all those things running pretty well wild here so in the middle of the night they hear and they know what's you know they hear things we don't hear but uh, we Bailey have huh? two pretty little red fox here all the time we had two foxes that lived down here in the corner of our yard for a year or two and they would come out and play and you'd see them out there in the in the road to the barn playing about every morning with your mama oh yeah they was pretty and uh they get you chickens too they will get you chickens if you have chickens um one morning I counted about 12 turkeys out in the front yard. Just wild turkeys walking around. 
we still have our three deer that comes through the field every evening. So there's always some wildlife somewhere, and coyotes and coyotes and coyotes. We have more than our fair share of coyotes, um, which we didn't have any because that's what worries me most about Maggie, especially after her attack. I've always worried about it, um, but we didn't have them right here, and we have uh, fields around the house that stay mowed. Well, this the year she got attacked, they didn't mow the second mowing, so the weeds were a little higher. And I believe that was the reason, because with the fields wasn't mowed. If you keep the fields mowed and they know it... We used to have outside dogs and they never come close to the house. We don't have that. We need some more outside dogs, Mama. I know I have to check with Maggie. She probably won't allow it. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. My friend brought me a dog that thought it'd be perfect for Mama. To I said, I, I just mentioned, I said, I need... A, a dog outside to go to the garden with mama and that way if there's a snake or something you know it could run it off and he said I've got the perfect dog I'll bring it up there he was a perfect dog beautiful dog sweetest dog ever but boy was he rambunctious he ran to the neighbors he ran everywhere he was oh mama seen him go to the neighbors flowers she said he can't stay here I can't be worried about that all the time. He's got to go. So he lasted here about, no oh, 20 minutes. My friends, that's all right. I'll take him back home. I don't want to run the neighbor's flyers with a dog. No, and we've never had a dog like that. We've never had one that didn't just stay home. <laughs> well, we've had some that wouldn't stay home. But we've they've been fenced in or electric collar or ultrasonic collar you know the ones you would put the thing out and it does a circle and they have the beep and then when they hear the beep they turn around we had that one time with the German Shepherd we had but the German Shepherd we had and I kept in the house most of the time her name was Bailey and she was the best dog ever uh, not better than Maggie though you hurt her feelings she shook her head. Um, but she was such a good dog. And it, she was good with Dad because Dad had a side-by-side -side thing and he liked to get out and run around the fields when he was able. And she'd go with him. And he should swim in the pond and she would run and she was sort of his little protector. And it never happened, but if, he, if she had ever shown back up at home without him... We would have known there was something wrong, but he always did real well with her. Yeah. And uh, she loved him. She, he was really her dog, his dog, um, when it was all said and done, because wherever he was, she was. But she would stay with me at night, because I didn't want her out. I didn't want her out in the bout. She had her bed and her stuff, and she was just a good little dog. Bunch of mama. Yeah. Mama, you're not doing too good a job on your burger. You're too tired to eat. Mm-mm. I'm eating. Like Should they be worried about you tonight, Mama? I don't think so. Well, they say they are. Are y'all worried about Mama? Did you say you've overdone it. Does she look? Mama, look right in the camera. <laughs> <laughs> Let them see your eyes, Mama. <laughs> I can't see a thing. Yeah. I believe she's all right. It's funny, folks. She can't see a thing without them glasses. Do y'all remember three months ago when she said, I don't need glasses and I'm not wearing them? She came through here the other morning and I thought, of course her glasses. <laughs> don't be telling tales on me. And I didn't say nothing. She got over to the stove, and I don't think she could see to turn the stove off. She said, Lord, I got my glasses on. I could see to turn it down. I just didn't know where she was She just didn't know where she was turning it. <laughs> she went straight in there and got them glasses and put them up. So she don't ever go without them now. I think she likes seeing, doesn't she, Mama? Yeah, but I always had a pair of readers in here I could snatch. Was you using readers to turn the stove on? Sometimes. Especially the easy bait. <laughs> Well, the easy bags got big old digital numbers. Other words. The, what are you saying? Bake brule and... Air frying. Air frying. All that good stuff. Mm. Oh, Mama, you got anything to add tonight or anything? Anything funny? Any stories you want to tell? Oh, I told so many of them the other day. That's a shame. A shame to what? 
talking so much. <laughs> they like your stories, Mama. I like your stories. Mm -hmm. We'll just do a whole story night sometime. Again. I love the old sayings. I went back and read a lot of them. Some of them I hadn't heard that you all had put on there after the video. They were really good. Um, I can't remember all of them, but I love old sayings and I love to know what they mean and what where they come from. Uh, some of them are just common. People just use sayings and some of them are just made up. Um, but a lot of them y'all I hadn't heard since my great aunts passed away. And a lot of them I heard my uncle say a hundred times. It was just good. It was good to revisit them. What is it? Sweating like a pig? Sweating like a pig. Ain't that an old saying? It's a, yeah, I guess so, Mama. But they don't even sweat. <laughs> How did they get that? Pigs? Mm -hmm. Oh, I don't know, Mama. I, I guess they that. don't sweat, do they? Uh-uh. Sweating like a hog. I don't know. Maybe that means they're not sweating good enough. They waller in the mud and stuff. Uh-huh. To get cooled up. Um, high as a cat's back. That's mm. a good one. Uh, well, now that's one. pretty high when a cat arches. Mm. It's mad. <laughs> yeah. It sure is. But that was one I read. I thought, oh, yeah. I haven't heard that in a while. Like, gas is high as a cat's back. means it's pretty high. Um, it's better for your tummy if you eat slowly. Take time to chew your food. Yes, it would be. Is that who said that? Linda Ann Guilford. Yep, I guess it's better to eat slowly and digest well. Just a reminder. Who said a remind? <clears throat> Just a reminder. Everyone, bless your hearts. It's not a compliment. <laughs> That's right. That's right, Trevor. It's not. Bless your hearts. Not a compliment. No, it's sure not. It's just a way of rounding off the sharp edges. My mama fell. Oh no, Tammy! Your mama fell this week and broke a rib. Mm -hmm. Oh, they said it's horrible to get over with. Too. We'll be sending prayers for her. Never kissed by the garden gate. Love. Love is blind, but the but the neighbors ain't. Kim, I ain't never heard that one. That's an old one. Christmas trees. I love her Christmas trees. I don't know what that was. Higher than a camel's hump. Well, Anna hadn't heard that either. I've never heard of that one. This is Mama's pimento cheese. No, we'll saying again. Um, maybe she put the recipe on there. Helen Tucker, hello, how are you? It's raining cats and dogs, yep, Kenneth. That's a good one. Folks, we're going to get out from here, clean up. I guess Mama's going to go to bed early. It's 8 o'clock. Mama, you going to bed early? Mm-hmm. You going to get up early and hit it again, my, my, my Walden? My Walden's mountain? I'm going to, well, I can't hit it too early because i got to go get my sugar. <laughs> Oh, you want me to run tonight and get you some sugar? No, not that early. <laughs> uh, I'll go to the store if you need me to, Mama. They'll be up another hour. No, thank you. Yeah, our stores close here. Do your all stores close? I guess y'all they probably have twenty four hour marketing places. Ours close. Alright folks, we're gonna say good night. Try this pimento cheese um cheeseburger if you have it. If you have, you know how good it is. Get you some homemade pimento cheese. Remember, pimento cheese is not hard to make. Just mm -mm. great too. Mama uses American cheese and Velveeta. And uh, no, Velveeta is not the best cheese in the world. It's processed cheese food. But it's still so good and everything. Use uh, half and half. She uses half of whatever she's making Velveeta, half of whatever she's making in American. Take a whole jar of pimentos, juice and all, put it in there, put it all over that cheese, make sure you stir it in. And then we don't add that much uh, mayonnaise. We put about a tablespoon, maybe two, whatever it takes just to make it loose. And then the next day you'll probably have to add a little bit. But it's it's not that terribly unhealthy because we don't put much mayonnaise in ours, do we, Mama? No. I know what I did first thing this morning made those muffins down there oh yeah that's when I told you, you was, it was like being on the Waltons 
had some bananas. Mama had bananas <clears throat> and these apples. What else in here, Mama? <laughs> it. Now, don't be fooled. There was more than this. This is just a platter full. I had one for breakfast with coffee. Well, I had one for second breakfast. <coughs> I just got a whiff. I can smell it over here. I might have to have that for dessert tonight, Mama. Yeah. So it's got apples and bananas and... It's got bananas and uh, apples and two eggs and two cups of flour and a cup of sugar and a half a cup of butter. And I put raisins in it, too. I just doctored it up good. This is one of those times I told you oh, I'll work. I added cinnamon because I used apples in it. Mama follows the rules with bacon, except sometimes she adds several ingredients. Nuts, berries, cherries. I didn't put no nuts in there because you ain't too wild about it. I don't nuts. like nuts in bread. don't like nuts in candy. I don't like chocolate walnut candy like people do. Uh, if you're going to put nuts in them, I don't care if you put them on top, I just don't want to find them. I don't like I'm just finding them in there. I don't like water chestnuts either. Like spinach dip with water chestnuts? Mm -mm, leave that out on mine. I can eat that. It's not a taste <laughs> thing, it's a textural thing with me. Don't question it, just go with it. I just don't like them. I just don't like that crunch. Uh, don't like nuts and breads, candies. I don't like none of that. I like chocolate covered peanuts, but I know what I'm getting into with them. <laughs> but uh, and I like nuts. It ain't that I don't like nuts. I like pecans. I like walnuts sometimes. You like about all nuts I'm not big on walnuts. walnuts. I don't like black walnuts. I'm not big on walnuts. Period. Um, cashews. I like roasted peanuts. I like, but um, I don't want to. I don't want to surprise. I don't want to find them somewhere. I just want. Them you know how I am, Mama. I'm as picky as Mama is on some things. wonder where you get that from. I don't know, Mama. I don't know where I get my picky. Do you all know? Mm -mm. Folks, we're going to say good night. Y'all have a great night. Be blessed. Oh, Count yeah. your blessings tonight. Make sure you name them, everyone. And get up in the morning. Be thankful that you're on the wake-up list. And uh, just have a great night. And have a great tomorrow. Tomorrow's Friday. May not be Friday for some of y'all as far as being off work. Some of you will be off work uh, for two days. Some of you probably had your end in your weekend today. and you got to hit it tomorrow for your Monday. We'll be praying for all y'all. And uh, you all pray for us. We'll pray for you. Mama, say good night to the folks. Good night, Mama. And God bless you all. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, y'all. <clears throat>